Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to change your mouse cursor theme in Natty. And uh, it's been an ongoing bug, I believe, since Lucid. But in Maverick, they pretty much fixed it. But um, now in Natty, it's broken again. And um, there's a few ways of doing this. And there are some cursors, mouse cursors, that are in your, um, in your repos. And if you were to go ahead and install those, um, it's actually pretty easy to, to, to make them work. So I'm just going to show you how to do that first. It's like if you go to your Synaptic Package Manager and just type like X11 cursor, I believe, and install a couple from there. Um, if you type this in your terminal, this right here that you see, I'll put it, I'll put it in the bottom. But anyways, you hit enter, give your password, and you'll see some, uh, you know, what you have installed via your package manager, not not from you downloading and dragging and dropping into a folder. This will only show what's what's installed with your package manager. So you just pick the number of which cursor you want to use, you know, hit enter and then log out and log back in. However, let's say you want to actually use something from like Gnome Look or whatever. Um, it's a little bit tricky to get that to work. It used to be easy before, but now it's not for whatever reason. And what I had to do, I had to install, um, let me close this off. Oops, sorry. I had to install LeafPad. And if you're familiar with Gedit, Gedit is like a, a text tool, I mean a text editor. And uh, when I run Gedit under uh, under root, it kept crashing on me. There's Gedit right here. All right, so a Gedit works for you for, for doing this, you know, just use it. But it didn't work for me. I had to actually install this one, LeafPad. I believe this is the uh, the LXD version of uh, Gedit, I guess. So install that if you need to, all right? And I downloaded this little mouse cursor thing from Gnome Look. So to install that, uh, right click on your desktop, change desktop background, go to theme. Now just drag it in here. All right, apply new theme. And it's not going to work. And if it does work, you'll probably notice your, your mouse cursor will still be white. But when you hover over certain applications, it'll change into the installed you know cursor it'll be like black or blue or whatever so I'm gonna fix that today let me just close this off so now you got your cursor installed right so now what you have to do is uh, open Nautilus as root it's gonna open up terminal we're gonna type GKSU Nautilus or GKSU space Nautilus hit enter give your password right now where it says file system click on that all right now go to user usr share icons okay now this is where all your installed uh, icons are at this is pretty much if you install the themes or uh, icon themes or cursor themes with the package manager this is where they're gonna be at so this is what you have to do. You're gonna to have to drag and drop the uh, the the file. I mean, your mouse cursor that you downloaded into here. So since I installed it in my home directory, I'm just gonna go grab that real quick. Dot icons. All right here, it is right here. I'm just gonna drag this over here and drop it in. So now you have the cursor in your dot home. Your dot I'm sorry, your dot icons, and now you have the cursor in your root directory in your icon. So it has to be in both places. So let me just close that off. And this is where uh, Gedit kept crashing on me, right? Where you go here to where it says default, this folder, this little index theme. Um, if, if it works for you, just double click it and, um, I'm sorry, right click on it, go to properties, go to permissions, where it says allow executing. Click on that, then double click it, and it should say like display or running terminal. Hit display and just go on from there. That's if it works for you, but since it didn't work for me, I gotta do it a different way. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this off. Close this. All right. Now I gotta open up LeafPad as a uh, root. GKSU Nautilus, pseudo LeafPad. Get my password. All right. Now we're going to go file, open. And we're going to browse for that index thing. 
So go to your file system, user, share, oops, icons, and where it says default, and there's that index theme I was talking about. Hit enter. And right now my default icon, uh, mouse cursor, I mean, is uh, set to that DMZ white. But I want to uh, now I want to set it to the uh, to the other one, the one I just downloaded. So what you have to do, I can't remember how it's spelled. I'm sorry. Let me uh, go look at it real quick. Control H dot icons. Here it is. So what you gotta do is uh, make sure you spell this exactly, and you're gonna paste it over here. But first you gotta like, cancel this one out. So on the front of this, we're gonna add this this little uh, mark. This will cancel that out. And now you gotta type this. Copy. Let me just go to the bottom here, right below it. Paste. Now we're gonna put that name of the the cursor you just downloaded into there. Copy it and paste. Oops. There we go. Now we're going to go File and Save. And you're pretty much done. I know it's very involving and it kind of sucks. You know, it's kind of buggy and stuff, but you know, that's just how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in and see if it, see if it worked. So I'll be back in a few minutes or well, a couple seconds. I'm sorry. Okay, I just logged back in, and as you can see, my, my cursor changed to the one that I wanted. And to give you an idea what I'm talking about, about it being consistent, I guess, um, usually when you open up a couple applications, the cursor will actually change to a different one, and now it doesn't. See how it stays consistent no matter what I'm, I'm hovering over? You know what I mean? And even though this is really a, it, well, to me, it's, it's a big hassle to be doing stuff, stuff like this, but since I actually uh, like this particular cursor, I, I don't really change it too often, you know what I mean? But uh, if you're the type of person that's going to be changing different cursors and, and customizing and stuff, it could be a you know a hassle for you. But, but anyways, that's just how you do do it, and that's just how I did it. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll put some instructions down below as well. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching.